Hello everybody, let's continue where we left off last time. Let's take web 10, copy and paste as web 11. There we go. I'm going to right click, go to properties, web, web project settings and change the, the URL deployment route, URL deployment path to web 11. Okay, okay. Now we have, uh, our new project copied and we can continue working where we left off in particular let's go to our add passenger servlet there we go and here there is a small problem let's say that two people try to add a passenger almost in the same time and this is a little bit tricky to think about, but let's imagine that. So maybe I'll kind of illustrate it with a notepad. Let's see. So anyway, so to try to add a passenger almost in the same time and to reach the do post method pretty much in the same time. Now, as we know, two different requests will be processed on two different threads. There will be a thread for each request and those th and each thread so will have the do post method running. Each thread in the do post method will get the form which was submitted by the by the users. So one do post method will get the form of user one and the other do post method on the other thread will get the form of user two. So there we go. We have two threads. Each, each thread is running the do post method. Each thread will get a form with the user information. So far, so good. Okay. So the threads are working side by side. No problem. No issue. <laughs> but let's say that we got here. Both of them, let's say both of them get this passenger list. Okay, no problem. The first, the first thread gets the passenger list and the second one too. No problem. So far, so good. The first, now here is the problem. The first, so they got the same passenger list. They got the same passenger list. And so let's say there were already 15 passengers. So thread one got, got list with 15, got list with 15 passengers. Thread two, thread two also got a list also with 15 passengers. Well, there we go. So looks good, but here's a problem. Thread one runs this method and adds a new passenger. So list will now have 16 passengers. But guess what? Thread two will get will add will not know that the thread one added the new passenger it still has the list with the 15 passengers and it will now add its own new passenger it will add its own from the form user to submitted so and then let's say to have to set the, the new list uh, in our passengers attribute. Let's say thread one executes faster and sets the new list. So the um, passengers SC, so SC set attribute, P list, and we have now 16 passengers. But the same line of but after the thread one finished thread two does the exact same thing it sets the 
plist on the passengers attribute and it sets its list with 16 passengers and that way if thread if this happens in thread 2 after this already happened in thread 1 we will lose the passenger of thread that thread 1 added you see so let's make it one more attempt to simplify it let's actually say we have only two passengers so let's say we have Mike and Sarah and thread one wants to add wants to add um, Hannah okay so wants to add Hannah and it and after it finishes working we'll have Mike Sarah and Hannah but know that this is thread one thread two also starts with Mike and Sarah let's say it adds Dave so in the end we'll have Mike Sarah and Dave and whichever thread saves the the list last whichever thread gets to this line last will have its list the list that will eventually be saved if thread 2 saves after thread 1 briefly for a moment the list will have Mike Sarah and Hannah but when thread 2 actually sets the attribute the list will become Mike Sarah and Dave Hannah will be gone we will not be saved good so what we want to do is we want first thread one to finish set the attribute Mike Sarah and Hannah and then thread two when it gets the list it will get Hannah if the if the thread work not simultaneously but one after the other first this finishes add Hannah to the list thread two will get Hannah add Dave save Dave and then we have Mike, Sarah, Hannah and Dave so we need a solution that will make thread 1 and 2 not execute this code in the same time but not execute this code in the same time but this piece of code needs to be executed in sequence so if the two users don't submit their form in the same time no problem two users submit a minute after one another no problem one user updates the list a minute later another user updates the list but if they submit at the same time we want to force java to execute the the code not side by side not in the same time but sequentially one after the other uh -huh. how we do that so here it, there is a lot of talk and a lot of explanation that I talk for already 10 minutes almost but the how we do it is very simple no need to think too much so that that's the good part at least that I did control shift F to format there is this keyword called synchronized <laughs> this will mean that this piece of code will will not be executed simultaneously one thread will finish it with this piece of code and only then another thread can access it two threads cannot access it in the same time so if the do post method runs two users submit a post one after the other uh, one after, immediately one after the other in, in the same time pretty much in the same time okay all this can happen in the same time on two different threads but this part we put a lock on it the lock the synchronize is like putting a lock this means that this piece of code will be executed one at a time one user 
do post will finish with it, the other than do post method on the second thread will execute this this piece of code. The two methods, the two threads will not execute this code in the same time. And this solves the problem. So this is almost as though the two users submitted their request one after the other. We finish with one, then we handle the other one. And when we ask for the list, we get the list, the, the most current list where the previous, uh, the previous thing, the previous passenger was already added that the, so if there are user one, user two, user when we and this is in user two we can be rest assured that user one passenger has already been added to the list and when we get the list the list will include the passenger from user one so we get only the most up-to-date list there is no way that the list has been updated in one place and here we're going to get an, an older list okay and this is done by by us but the the servlet has a lock and now th whoever the thread when it wants to access this code it has to ask a permission to open the lock and the thread opens the lock and nobody else can access this code until the thread returns the key to the servlet and then the next thread can borrow the key and get access to this code. So now by doing this, we added a lock that it's, and that only one servlet can have, or that only one thread can have access to the key for the lock in one time. One servlet, one thread with the do post method finishes with this code good it returns the the key to the servlet and now the second thread can borrow the key and have access to this piece of code but two threads will not have access this piece of will not have will not have access to this piece of code in the same time this is uh, an idea for multi-threading this is probably the hardest idea I would say all the way until JPA. So this is one of the hardest ideas in the course. I think the rest of servlets and JSP, we won't tackle something so difficult to understand and to think about. I would say enterprise Java beans are also easy. So the only, maybe in JPA, we will see stuff to do a little bit sophisticated, but so far this has been by far the hardest idea in the course. To see this in action, let's now go to the main page servlet real quick and let's maybe we can print the number of passengers. So and then so let's ask the current servlet, let's ask the servlet for the servlet context. Huh? So servlet context as C and then we say this which is the current servlet get servlet context we do SC get attribute passengers uh, let's very quickly uh, convert this to the array list passenger what is it one for me I'm just array list okay so the sorry of course passenger is a class so we have to have an uppercase but passenger uh, p list no okay we probably we need to import array list passenger and now here we're going to print p list uh, sorry, size or length? Yeah, size. Size to get the number of passengers on the list. Okay, okay, okay. It wants something. 
Okay, sorry, we need to put a plus here. Okay, there we go. Let's quickly deploy the application. I'm going to add remove web 10, deploy web 11. Okay, so this is still web 10. So currently the number is zero. Remember the main page is at this URL. Then we're going to add passenger. Okay, let's very, very quickly. Uh, okay. One, uh-huh. Let's go there again. Let's, oh God, um, Sarah, uh, Clement. Two. Let's now, uh, I don't know, uh, Dave, uh, Dave Burke. Number of passengers three, you see? It all works. We get the update, updated number of passengers. All right, thank you very much.